Hello, this is Joe Neville and welcome to Let's Configure BGP. In this video, we're going to configure this network with this kit. Welcome to this new playlist. This is going to be about configuring BGP primarily on Aruba OS switch. Now, Aruba switches are better known for their layer 2 functionality, the security in their quads, but they do have a full raft of layer 3 functionality and a BGP stack that I'll be delving into over the next series of videos. The aim here is to provide practical examples of BGP. I'm not going to go into depth in the theory so much. I'm covering that more in my other playlist, BGP in depth. If you haven't checked that out, please do so. Link on the screen now. So let's kick this off with a three node BGP network. Here's the physical layer two. I'm using this Aruba 2930F as my layer two switch. Then I've got a single connection from each one of these 3810Ms into the switch. I run various VLANs across and that allows us to create this network. We've got 3810M-1-2 in this AS65001. I'm going to be using IBGP between them and I'm going to be pinning that on their loopbacks. So I'm using OSPF to propagate those loopbacks. Then both of the switches has got an eBGP session up to this 3810M-3 which is in AS65002. And on dash 3 and dash 1, I'm going to be injecting prefixes so we'll be able to see that exchange. Let's log into the 2930F first. As you can see, I've got public key authentication already configured for these. If you don't know how to do that, I have made a video about that. Link on the screen now. It just speeds things up. Here you can see the configuration. So we've got this VLAN 2, which is my management network, which I'm running between all the devices. And then on this switch, I've got VLAN 10, VLAN 11 and VLAN 12, which I've configured already for this respective network. Let's get on to the 3810Ms. And just to show you the configuration that's on there so far, pretty basic. I've just put the management, block some untagged traffic there. And I've put the loop back. Oh, and IP routing is enabled. So to start off with, what I'm going to do is configure the AS65001. I'm going to put the OSPF, BGP and of course, the IP address is on the VLANs. Let's start with VLAN 10. Each one of the devices is connected into the layer 2 switch via port 1. So we'll allow VLAN 10 tagged on port 1 with that command. Then we put an IP address on it. So that's 10150 10.1 What's my other one? VLAN 11 tagged on 1 Let's go for the IP address. So that is one nine two one six eight eleven dot one slash thirty for all my point to points. Okay, so that's my two VLANs configured. I'll go on to dash two now. Do the same thing. So dash two being the other end of the point to point. And I'll put on that VLAN 12 as well.
Okay, done. Okay, we can ping across VLAN 10, great. Oh, and I want to configure my router ID. So. Yeah, IP router ID. So this will be the ID that's used for the routing protocols. I'm gonna use the loopbacks for each. So it's 1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 on dash one. Two dot two dot two dot two. Let's go over to three and configure its VLAN. Same again. to the other end of the slash 30 so now VLAN 12 okay good and on dash 1 uh, and dash 3 I'm going to inject that prefix just create an extra VLAN for that So it'll be VLAN 100, and it's going to be that prefix. 172.16.1, I'll give it 254. And then over here, I'll create 101. So this is the one I'm going to inject. So... It is one seven two twenty one slash twenty four. Okay, good. Can we ping? Yes, so that's them three down to one is good. Three down to two is good. Okay, so let us start on the OSPF going to VLAN what is it 10 put it in area ooh hang on a minute OSPF area not found Yeah, we have to set area zero first. Okay, I've configured area zero. Now I know that I need to enable OSPF, done. Okay, I've skipped ahead a bit because that was a bit of a typo there. I started to put OSPF on wrong VLAN, I want it on VLAN 10. Good, okay, got it. The other thing I want to do is that I want to have point to point. Now, I always put point to point on when I'm in the lab if it's a slash 30 because then the device will not wait for, I think it's 30 or 60 seconds, so there won't be a delay for the, normally the interface would listen out for other devices because of the uh, DR, BDR election. If you put point to point, obviously there's no DR, no BDR, so it will start the o OSPF adjacency exchange immediately. So VLAN 10, right, we've got that in OSPF, good. The other one I need is 
the loop back. We use that IP OSPF all for that. Nice thing about Aruba OS is that you don't have to come out of configuration to see the configuration. You just you don't even have to do a do or anything. You just do a show run. Okay, there we've got the loop back in OSPF and we've got VLAN 10 is the point to point and we've got this router OSPF at, with area. So that's an interesting point. Area zero becomes the uh, translated as a backbone, which is um, area zero. It's just another name for it. And we've got the enable good. Let's go over to dash two. Hopefully get that done a bit faster. Straight away enable. Area zero. Just give it a normal. VLAN 10, OSPF, area 0. Let's get that network type in there. Point to point. That always gets me the loop back. You have to have actually loop back there. LO's not enough. Okay. There we are, full. So it didn't wait at all for the election or anything. We've got a full state of OSPF. Let's check the routing table. And we can see the loop back from two. We can ping one, great. Okay, now on to the BGP. Okay, there's no router ID in there. We've already set a general router ID. Fine. So I'm on dash two at the moment. I will go for 111 as my neighbor. Same AS. And we've got to do this update source and interestingly you can't put an interface in there by the looks of it it has to be the ip address okay done now we'll go dash one evil neighbor g5001 Update source is going to be there. And I want to inject that network. So it's 172.16.10. Make sure the prefix mask is correct. Show BGP. There I'm injecting it. You can see the weight of the locally injected prefix. Do a summary. We're already established. If we look over on dash two. We've got the prefix, great, we're learning that. So let us carry on with the configuration up to dash three. A CBGP, I'm going to do it on the directly connected. Okay, that's dash two. Now dash three. Make sure we put him in the right 
Ah, yes. Neighbor statement down to dash one. Alpha dash two. And finally, that network injection. So slash one, and it's a slash twenty four. Good. Right. Show IP BGP neighbors. Oh, actually, neighbors gives it. It's very verbose. So for this, it's much easier to see a summary good we're established there's our prefixes up on dash three so we have got the 172.20.1 slash 24 that's the locally injected then we've got the remotely injected ebgp learning from the two neighbors so that looks good let's get over to dash one see if we can ping Put it as my source so I know I've that I've got a true end to end. Cool. There we go. That is this three node BGP network configured from scratch. Thanks for watching. Please like, dislike, leave a comment, subscribe, you know the deal. My name's Joe Neville and goodbye.